Right, well, another de-stressor, exercise. Today, personal trainer Karin Van Olst is targeting those triceps, folks. Take a look, watch. Today, we're gonna talk about most people's least favorite body part, <laughs> if you're over the age of 15, anyhow. So we're gonna work just on that. And a lot of it you can do at home. Some of it is helpful to do in the gym. The first position is I'm scattered my, staggered my legs like this, my arms, palms face down. I'm gonna bring it straight down like that. And then I do a bend and extend. So by the straight arm movement, you're working the triceps as well as the teres major minor, the lats and a little bit of the shoulders, but you're also really isolating the triceps, which is what that part of your body is called, if you don't already know that. It's good to do one arm at a time because sometimes you're a little bit stronger on one side than the other. This way you don't compensate. Then another great way in the gym to do this is with no handle at all, I'm just on the rope only, leaning forward onto your supported leg, make sure you're in a straight, straight line with your spine, and then extend and bend. And while I'm doing this one, I want to remind everybody at home that you don't have to be an athlete to be active. If you're intimidated by going to the gym or working out, don't be. We all started somewhere. So make sure that you give yourself the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna go back to this one, and we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension. Again, my feet are staggered, my elbow is very close to my head, and then you're gonna extend and bend. So this part of your arm really does not move too much, it's just the bottom part of your arm. And hopefully you can see in my body that's working right here. Really isolating the triceps. Again, if you have a big shoulder problem, you may want to stay with any of the other ones I showed you. And then here I'm going to do a little piece that you can do at home. It's free weights. Just support yourself on a chair or a bench. You're in a straight line, your elbows right by your waist. You're going to extend your arm there. And then you're going to turn your palm down and do it again. So one is with your palm facing your body. And then the other one is with your palm on the hand. Again, work in those triceps and don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something about them because you can. Those people, I like to call they're not your friends if they tell you you can't do something. Then we're going to do a seated overhead extension. Again, make sure your elbow is right by your head. I don't want it floating around and then extend and bend. You want to think of that top part of your arm being the wall, your elbow being the hinge and the lower arm being the door. So you're opening and closing the door, in other words. That's how you could look at that exercise. And then I want to show you one more quick one. If you're really advanced and you want to give yourself a little challenge, you could put yourself on a ballast ball like this, unstable, so be careful, and do dips. Be careful with this one. It's only for people that have no shoulder problems at all and are very advanced. And we all have no more jiggles.